the game. I run the game. I run the I run the macro my name. I run the game. I do this for the love. They love me and the fame. fame, 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 fame. What's up, Elite Fam? Charles Macro jumping in the fishing planet, and we've got some big news, guys. If you have not heard, if you have not seen this post, the Congo River is coming to fishing planet. Now, before we get into this, we're gonna read through the dev blog. I need you to hit that like button, subscribe if you are not subscribed, share this so others can see this and they can read it, they can check this out. You know all of that helps feed that YouTube algorithm. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think about this, guys. Let me know if you're ready for the new update. Do you think it's going to be worth it? Do you think it's going to be a huge deal? What level do you think this unlock will be for this new lake, guys? Oh, man. This is going to be huge every time they drop a new lake. We get more fish. We get more hot spots. We get more money that we can earn, guys. It's just at a very high level, so it's hard to get there. It takes that time, guys. So we're going to jump into it. Again, hit that like button. And let me know in the comments what you think about it. I need your feedback, guys. Give me your feedback on this one. Let's go. So it says out the gate, you will be able to explore the Congo River on Steam in late November, early December, and on consoles a couple of weeks after that. Now, I feel a little sorry for you guys on console. You do have that delay. They put it out on PC on Steam. We get it. We get to play it. Then it gets to you guys. Hopefully, that will be sooner than later. Now, they say, here in the heart of Africa, the vast tropical rainforest covers both banks of the Great Congo River, the deepest river in the world. Now, I'm wondering how big the depth of the river will play a part in it. I really want you guys' feedback. So let's go down. Let's look at this. First, we see the boat. We see a kayak. It looks like a wooden or, or bamboo-esque kayak. Now, let's scroll down. Look at this here. This looks huge. This looks huge. It's probably a lot bigger than it seems. If we're going to go by the Amazon and how huge that area is, this has to be a very huge area, I am sure. It says this unique biome is home to hundreds of unique mammals and thousands of bird and fish species. This is where the last corners of the wild, unexplored nature are in it. Now, the link to this will be in the description for you guys who want to read through it. We're going to skim through and hit most of the highlights, but if you want to go back and read everything, you can. So what can anglers expect from the Congo River? In its middle reaches, just below the Bioma Falls, the river flows through the territory of the Democratic Republic of the Congo and consists of a chain of lake-like pools with a huge number of islands overgrown with tropical forest and impassable swampy stretches of land. Now, a lot of this is just very descriptive. We won't read it all. I just wanted to touch base on some of what they have highlighted. But let's look here. At the Congo River, we have prepared as many as seven locations. We got Cable Ferry. Now, at first, I thought these were piers, but these look like kayaks or some form of river boats in these pictures. We have the Wild Islands. Okay, that's very stretched, very massive. I see sticks sticking out of the water, and it looks like there's some form of brush in the inner sand of the river so those will probably be hot spots for some type of fish i am sure you got the bamuna settlement okay this looks like a offshore settlement there is a pier there are more kayaks you got hanging bridges now is this just one hanging bridges are there sets of hanging bridges do we fish off of the bridges and is this going to be a hot spot as well we're definitely going to find out when it's released but what do you think? Let me know in the comments. All right, now we're getting to some of the fish, guys. It says the Congo is generally not the easiest place to fish. and You'll have to do your best, but efforts will be rewarded many times over. After all, we have introduced 17 absolutely new species of fish, including some unique African endemics such as the Nile perch, which can reach a weight of about 200 kilograms. 200 kilograms is that bigger than the sharks it has to be what is the max weight that the bull shark gets i know you can get up to about 400. this looks like it eclipses 400 as well as the goliath tiger fish and the african tiger fish now are they saying all three of these reach a weight of about 200 kilograms are we talking about 400 ish pounds of fish with three different fish types if that is the case guys this is going to be crazy this the money the money mm. and it says these three are the main targets 
for which anglers come to Africa from all over the world. And believe us, these are some of the most coveted trophies for anglers from all over the world. Wow. So if these three get that weight, what are the fish under these? What weights do they get to? What XP are we gonna get from these? How much money will they be worth? Now, I also wonder, will they change or nerf what we make at the Amazon? Cause right now that's the top lake. So you would think you would get more money there. I'm pretty sure the pass, if you buy a pass there, it's gonna drop down. If you get that Amazon pack, it'll probably drop down to seven days instead of 30. This one, since it'll be the newest lake, will probably be the 30 day, uh, 30 day pass and you also get the 30 days of premium with it. That's probably what they'll do once this releases, but how will that affect what we earn off sharks? Will the XP decrease? Will the money decrease? I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. They say, of course, we couldn't leave you unequipped for battles with such monsters. That's why we prepare some unique baits for you, such as the caddis larva, African giant water bug, and banana bread. And look at these here. So they gotta give us some new bait to lure in these new fish. In addition to that, you'll be able to use some real delicacies when fishing for the voracious African predators. Canned meat, buffalo kidney, and small tilapia. <laughs> look at the small tilapia. So get your best gear ready, friends. After all, you're about to have the opportunity to explore these amazing fishing grounds and test your skills on the African continent. Guys, this is crazy. I'm really ready for this. Another lake, another river opening up and giving us the opportunity to catch some huge, huge lunkers. This is great. I'm really anticipating this. Now we heard it rumored that they would be bringing out ocean fishing or deep sea fishing. Now I'm wondering what happened to that. Is that still in the works? Is that gonna be in the future? Maybe that'll be in 2022 when they do the next update. Maybe that wasn't working out the way they thought or they were working on these at the same time. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. Will we still get deep sea fishing, uh, fly fishing, some type of net fishing, you know, fishing in mass? Will they just keep it ride fishing? Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. And let me know, are you ready for this? You ready to catch this Goliath tiger fish? the Nile perch, the African tiger fish. What do you think about what's opening up? And let me know what you think about these spots. Is there anything that I missed that you saw or noticed in these pictures? Anything that really stands out to you that'll think will be pertinent or that will affect what we catch and how we catch once this update drops, guys. All right, so you hit me in the comment box. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, share this, and let me know your opinion on what is coming soon for us in Fishing Planet, guys. All right. Charles Macro, Fishing Planet, new update on the way. Thank you for stopping through, and I'm gonna holler at you. Peace. So guys, before we go, I wanted to thank you one more time for supporting Charles Macro and the Macro Elite. You are elevating your logic, your intellect, and your thinking every day. Now, if you wanna support, there are other ways that you can do so. So check out this little promo, and it'll tell you some ways that you can truly be down. And thank you once again. And for you guys that want to support further, go to charlesmacro.com slash shop. There you can buy t-shirts, you can buy other merch like coffee mugs, onesies, bargains, caps. You also can support by buying and checking out my music. I have the I Run The Game album that is out on all the digital retailers, the iTunes, the Spotify's. And in fact, if you're on Spotify, go on there, I Run The Game, the album, Charles Macro Music. Look that up and add me to a playlist, all right? That will help me get up on the charts as well and earn money off that music if you're feeling it like you're feeling the intro, okay? And go subscribe to the new Charles Macro Music channel, all right? You also can hit my Amazon affiliate links down below. You don't have to buy any of those products. Just click the link, then buy whatever you were planning to buy. That helps me get a little love, okay? Then we have Patreon, Cash App, YouTube membership program. I'm gonna be getting subscribe start soon if you wanna support that way. Of course, I'm on IG, Twitter, Discord, Facebook, any of those social medias you wanna follow me on, see some other things, some pictures, some, some regular life stuff, my photography business, uh, video, going on there, follow, like, subscribe, share. Thank you guys once again just for the support. Charles Macro, thank you for stopping through, and I'ma holla at you.
Peace. I run the game. I run the game. I run the, I run the macro, my name. I run the game. I do this for the love. They love money and the fame.